No, no, hold on a second. I'm sorry. We could watch a VOD. I literally said, I know those people exist, but you cannot cater your rhetoric on a large issue broadly based on a handful of those people. Unless I don't you're clear remember about you that. saying that at all. I literally just said that. I, oh my God, this is so ridiculous. And of course your chat's going to spam. Yes. You obviously. did say that? Okay. That. Wait, but so she yes, did say did that. Did she the, also rewinded. say... Did she also Thank say you. the shadow bot or the, Thank the you. shadow Look at, Hold on. Look at all those motherfuckers who just spammed. Destiny won this debate. That's all I'm going to say about this so far. All right, let's do it. Fuck it. Uh, more drama. Uh, by the way, I've already skipped, uh, I think, like halfway through it because uh, I watched like half of it yesterday. Whew. Here we go, here we go. Bup, 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 bup. Like you're frustrated, but at the same time, like why you're you ignoring me? your own. Wait, your why, own, why are you interrupting Ignore your own. No, because the reason why I'm interrupting is because it's like, it's one thing to say, oh, this person said an asshole thing on Twitter, but you said asshole things as well. You said in, in a moment of frustration to your chat, to members of your chat, people who you were arguing with, oh, well, you're just a pedo. That's a pretty fucking fucked up thing to say to people. Yeah, maybe some people are going to get a little mad and they're going to say, you haven't sucked enough dicks. That's also shitty, but you called them a pedo. Are you really defending this? No, I'm not defending it. I'm saying that you, you can't just present one side of that. Yeah, obviously people are going to be Wait, fucking shitty. Presenting but presenting one definitely... side of that would imply that I haven't already acknowledged that I have hyperbolically called people pedophiles, which I have done yes, now. How just many... acknowledging it? Just acknowledging? Oh, yeah. Can I we was move slightly on Because I've already said... No, no, no. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I sure. If you don't want to well. talk about it, if you don't want to talk about how you... not just, What do you mean it's don't want to talk just about it? I well. opened if you don't want to talk... No, you No, you didn't. You've been defending your position. You've been defending the language that you've used, your rhetoric this entire time. You've I been downplaying it, acting like no, no, no. Wait, no. You keep, wait, we can't keep going back to this. The only thing I've defended with going back to, to pedo what the only pedo accusation rhetoric that I've doubled down on was the one were the ones that I gave later on, where I was specifically describing the types of defenses that made me really, really suspect of people's intentions. At the very least, it feels like it's um enabling certain types of defenses that I'm very, very uncomfortable with. Apart from that, the stuff that wasn't that, for like the fourth time, yeah, it was hyperbolic bad faith well poisoning. I've already acknowledged VDS that. is Vosh Derangement Syndrome. I'm not as bothered by this as you, because as far as I'm concerned, this entire discourse has been hyperbolic bad faith well poisoning. The only difference is, I was the one who came out with an argument in addition to it, and it felt like nobody else came out with one. Like. Sure. I think, like, yeah, I, think I, I got in the muck. I jumped in the toilet, sure. But I came out with an argument, and I defend that argument now. And that's what I'm interested in talking about. Uh, okay. I mean, if you don't want to, like, again, if you don't want to talk about, if you don't want to talk we about. have uh, talked about it. What's more, what more is there to talk about? I mean, I. I think that I think you're not I don't think you're taking that seriously. I don't think you're taking seriously the 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 sheer amount of hyperbole. And I think that as a result of that, you're downplaying just how fucking out of line you were with that rhetoric. That was my main critique. And that is my main critique. I think I would, you know, I'd love to have a actual conversation about the boundaries of kink at pride. I would I I in fact, oh god, I even was thinking about doing that on stream before I got called a pedo by a fuckload of people on Twitter for even saying I was going to talk about a take that was different than yours. I didn't even know you'd made a video about it yet. So, sorry, but mean, I wait, do you mean by fuckload of people? I'd like to see some evidence that there was this huge yeah, sure, of my fans. I never said it was your fans. Who listens I never to even me implied it was your fans. fans. Wait, who listens to me except for my fans? I never even said it was your what what are you talking about? Yeah, to be totally fair to Demon Mama here, um, that's that was not the implication. She just said that she was getting an unbelievable amount of people to call her pedophiles. So did so did Big Joel. Big Joel got a fucking army of people calling him pedophiles. That wasn't coming from Vosh. That wasn't that was like I think it was because Lauren Southern retweeted uh Big Joel and that alone and Destiny then retweeted Lauren Southern. Uh so that like that was enough to get to get, you know, the uh the eye of Sauron pointed at Big Joel. Like I don't know what then you're getting at. Here. I never even said it was you. I then didn't say you link? were responsible for it. I'm saying that the wait, what? I was just telling you my experience with this with the discourse that I that I mean, to be fair, your video kicked it off. Your video kicked it off. Your video kicked it off with everybody reacting to it. And in that video, you said some Pretty easily missed, not even, sorry, not, the not implication even slightly really made it seem like you were saying it was my fans, but okay, if you're just saying, like, I just made those accusations, then it was also, like, a separate group of people, then okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, 
I, I think we all know, like, I, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any contention between us about the fact that uh, p if you have a big platform, you can start discourse. And if you poison that discourse to a degree that that, that discourse can be almost, almost unresolvable. And I believe that with you, with you starting this entire discourse, being very careless by blasting entire groups of people who may or may not disagree with you, being unclear who it was you were saying, saying that they're pedophiles we've while we're already, talking about we've pride. We've already said this. Yeah. Though yes, I do, I, though want, I do, for yes, what it's I, worth, though, I, I do think you're... But I don't want you to know, you're... but Vosh, uh -huh. Vosh, I don't want you to downplay it, okay? Uh, first of because all, Because this is you, something I take so seriously. What, what you can say is me downplaying it is apparently me acknowledging it and addressing it like No, 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 don't. Over. I really like Dylan's response. What was Dylan's response? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to buy that, Vosh. I'm is not going to buy is that. Is this really all you have? You just come on to Virtue Signal. There you like, go. Why you're don't we continue literally talking? doing it again. You're just, no, no. See, you say, oh, is that literally all you have? Vosh, half of your fucking content is critiquing people's rhetoric. You do but videos I've accepted on Rhetoric 101. The critique. Okay, good. So you admit that you completely destroyed the discourse and that, no, that, 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 that I you think that I poisoned the blowing world. accusations at the beginning of, of pedophilia has had a knock on effect that may have reached beyond your fan base. Yes or no? Well, repeat the last statement, please. Okay. Do you think that your very careless use of pedophilia accusations or, or, or insults or whatever you want to call it, I don't care which word you use, Poisoned the discourse to a degree that it had a rep it had repercussions beyond your fan base. You know what? No, I think that it's okay, the responsibility then. of the community to have better takes on this. And I saw literally oh, thousands of people. Hold on. And I saw literally thousands of people you giving just... takes that I felt were adjacent to justifying child abuse. And when I pointed that out, everyone was acting as though I was ju jabbing at ghosts. That was extremely frustrating yeah, for me. And I'll, and I'll say, wait, hold on. That's a bad take. And you're doing it too. You're saying they don't exist. I'm sorry. No, maybe I'm the reason this got so I'm hyperbolic is because people like you aren't willing to accept any broader oh, criticisms yeah. it's of the community's like me, behavior. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's absolutely people like me that made this. When you started this fucking thing with a video where you threw accusations of pedophilia completely vaguely based on things that you didn't even know which topic you were this talking the, about. You make wait, a video. Hold on. I, make a you're video the one who doesn't know. I know no, the wait, topic make, I was talking make, about. Excuse me. That was yeah. That was one of the things that really bugged me about Shu on Head's kind of like you know butting into this is I think it does poison the well if you start implying or saying that there is somehow like a pedophilic element that is intersecting itself into either the gay community or just like the communities writ large. I don't think that that is uh, a demonstrable fact, like a uh, citation needed for this. Uh, I think it's just a long-standing trope that's been going on for a very long time uh, that vilifies homosexuality and shows that it is either degenerate or equates it with pedophilia. And I think that's like, that is a huge damaging problem that I think Shu on Head should have been way more self-aware of uh, when she was tweeting out the things that she was tweeting out, you know? You make a video at Kink at Pride where you repeatedly met- Vosh's take was bad, but is Vosh personally responsible for the discourse becoming what was? No, not not solely. I, I like, I put more, I would put more weight into Shuan Head than anything else, but everyone is responsible for this. Like, I, I don't understand why anyone thinks that any of this happens independently in a vacuum and one single person is the be-all, end-all. Like, I am responsible for my contributions to discourse, as is any other creator, any other person. Like, this is a web. We're all all interconnected on Twitter. We're all saying things. We're all being retweeting each other. We're all talking, you know, some of us talking past each other. But it goes like Lauren Southern will take a story like this and take on Shun Heads and then tweet out that picture of the super cringe dog dom picture with the, the girl talking to them. Tweet that out as if that is somehow related to Pride. It's not. That was a BDM festival. That gets picked up. Then someone like Destiny will take that and retweet it. When Destiny ret retweets it and says, like, I forget what he said, if you honestly think this is okay, then you have lost the fucking uh you've totally lost the plot and and that's not what people are saying like no one on, on the pride side of things has been like hey by the way this good this bad and i want more doggy doms talking to kids no one is advocating for that and the the shitty thing about this entire fucking uh discourse has been primarily that this is again uh, the playbook of the alt right like the alt right put this out there on 4chan and and eight kun or whatever they're all called put out like this is our plot okay here's some photos that look really disturbing that objectively anyone sees even if you are the most like progressive person possible if you see that photo you 
you'll you'll probably instantly like your yikes uh things will go off as as it does for me as it does for anyone because you're just like oh shit yikes this seems like we are sexualizing kids and putting them in danger uh oh uh oh I, i'm starting to get this con conflation maybe, maybe this has to do with the fact that gays uh, are inherently sexual towards kids oh no I, i'm starting to believe things that i never believed before you know like that that shit is it, it poisons the well and it's being done by design and we are perpetuating it which is why i keep talking about this which is why I keep bringing this up and why I'm like, I, I'm subjecting myself to all these fucking atrocities because I, I think it needs to be pushed back upon. Pride, you repeatedly name drop pride. And then when I say, you know, that doesn't really line up with your other statements, then you say, well, I wasn't talking about pride necessarily, but your video was titled pride. You say the name pride millions of times in your video, not millions, you say it many, many times in your videos. You say Chat seems pride, clear pride, on pride, my pride. intentions. I mean, that's I not, feel like- That's if you, literally the opposite of clear, Vosh. That's you telling people that, oh, I said all these words and I wasn't clear in my arguments, and people people were I confused, and then they responded. I have to defer to public responded. opinion on this, because I feel like I was being clear. Are there ways to mm. be clearer? Of course, well, there's literally always a way to be clearer. But it seems like people who actually follow what I say and listen to the words coming out of my mouth understood what I was saying. There does do seem you to think be I... some disagreement, but I don't know how much of that disagreement is willful misinterpretation of what I've said. And judging okay, from so some of you... the arguments that you've made, I can't trust you either. Because you've also oh, nice. cited things inaccurately. Okay, cool. So I don't, right, I don't right. have Mosh, an objective. Mosh, nope, nope. Like, I, I don't need, I don't, like, this is, that's fucking stupid. Like, if you don't think that me, of all people, this is going to come to you in fucking. This has been a conversation. Like, you, okay, you didn't, right. come, to, you didn't right. come to provide right. anything. Okay, you just Mosh. wanted the virtue okay, signal. Mosh. No, wait. I brought up exactly what I wanted. See, this talking is what I'm talking about. Now. Like, and you're going to, and you're going to call me a, a child in this. But all right. If that's what you think, if you really think that, by the way, you, you literally seated on what I, on my actual core argument, which is that your, your rhetoric was ridiculously irresponsible. Was, and it wait, was, I didn't it say, was very no, irresponsible. Wait, you keep acting like this is some win. This is what I said first off. Like, I don't think it's for, a win. I think this is fucking stupid. I think this has been c completely stupid. And I think you started why, with the stupidity. But I acknowledge, like, it doesn't even feel like you came to have a conversation. It feels wait, like wait, you just came you to wait, rub you... my nose in, in a... No! In yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm going to agree with Vosh on this one. I think that this is a little bit bad faith on the part of Demon Mama right now. I think Vosh is being pretty reasonable in taking very hardcore accusations at face value in uh and on his own platform. So, uh, yeah. No, Language not values. at all. I you were You were defending... Your positions when I walked into the stream, and I I responded what to that. What positions do you have a problem with? We are now how how long into I'm sorry, this? I'm and sorry. You still haven't given I, I, me I'm a sorry. position. I misspoke in saying position. I uh, should yes, say rhetoric course, in this case. Rhetoric, right. So you yes, so you think my rhetoric, position yes. is fine? Wait, you, sorry, sorry, sorry. Can I get can I get your on the record? Do you think rhetoric is frivolous or stupid, or just, are you not like literally the rhetorician online? So early on in this conversation, you said you had multiple criticisms of my position as well, but I guess yeah, I now do. we're deferring entirely to the rhetorical. No, we thing. can. If you want to talk about the, the, the if you want to talk okay. about positions you, on King let's, of Pride, can I sure. just ask you a couple questions? They're not yeah. like leading questions. Sure. I just want to ask for Please, your perspective. Go for it. Do you think it's important that a major section of Pride events what? should be made accessible and family friendly so that people who may not be comfortable with overtly kinky or sexual content can still go and learn about the community, experience stuff like that? That kind of stuff. Yeah, I think that's already the case. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, I agree. Yeah. Yes. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. That's so fine. we're in agreement I, on that. I, I mean, but I don't think that I don't think that means that we should get kink out of pride. I don't think I that anything. I just think that yeah, sure. If you want to have certain areas that are that are family friendly, sure, that's you fine. You can look at my just tweets keep in mind, and my video to Hold find on. me saying I'm fine with kink at pride. I just want a section mm. of it. Pre we you you watch my video, right? Yes, you I watched just, your video. Did yes, you just but, look but, at the thumbnail? Did you just look no, at the thumbnail? No, I did not just look at the thumbnail. Vosh, you want me to fucking screen share with you? I've got a fucking entire document of things that I did. Do you? Well, who do you think I am? Do you think I'm just some fucking jester? I fucking take this shit seriously. You know I fucking Yeah, Nathan Fielder is on Means TV. It's like, dope. yes, I know that you've said various things all over the place. And that's the problem that I have with this entire thing, is that you've been saying a lot of different things. And when you're pressed on certain issues, you act as though anybody disagreeing with you is totally unreasonable and a pedophile. I feel that like I've fucking... made it excessively clear that I'm okay with King of uh, Pride as long as there's uh, an area or a section or a time period where children... Or whatever can go without like i think that that if i and if i'm this not is mistaken the i feel like i'm being gaslit like how many times do i have to say this over and over like it's in the video it's in the tweets it's it's in today's stream it's in the conversation i'm having with you right now so you're accusing me of gaslighting now or can you just respond to the feelings i have rather than posturing and backing up and saying oh Wait, you're you daring talking? to Come on, just 
I feel like I mean, I'm okay, being you're, gaslit. you're posturing a lot here right now. Like, but, okay, you, so, where, okay, what, okay, how okay. am I gaslighting you? How okay. am I gaslighting you? Just tell me, come on. Can you, I, wait, I just said, is this a joke? I just said, I've been very clear that I'm okay with kink at pride. I think everything has its place. I okay. just explained. So that's, okay, then that's great. If that's your position, that's fine. I don't, that is not the impression that I got from your initial videos. Now, yes, I do, I do acknowledge that there was a tweet in which you said, yeah, I'm fine with, with most of this, but I don't think that your rhetoric in the initial videos or the way that you approached your arguments in those initial videos even came close. This all feels like they're still doing a lot of just petty back and forth stuff. I wanted to move on to like some substance. All of the experiences that I've had and all the people that I've seen over the past 48 hours making arguments that I would argue. Did about. I ever deny it? Do you think it's a Wait, good look for you to imply that I denied it? Chat, I'm deferring to you now. Did Beam and Mama not deny the existence of those people when I said people are accusing me of fighting shadows and Demon Mama said, yeah, you kind of No, are. I did not. You are Chat, lying you... to my fucking face right now. You're I lucky not. I have a bad said, memory. I, what I else have I missed? I literally watched... No, no, hold on a second. I'm sorry. We could watch a lot. I literally said, I know those people exist, but you cannot cater your rhetoric on a large issue broadly based on a handful of those people. Unless you're clear about that. I don't remember you that. saying that at all. I literally just said that. I... Oh my god, this is so ridiculous. And of course your chat's gonna spam yes. You obviously. did say that? I mean, okay. That. Wait, but so she yes, did say did. that. Did Watch she the, also rewinded. say did she also Thank say you. the shadow bot or the, Thank the you. shadow? Look at, hold on, look at all those motherfuckers who just spammed Destiny won this debate. That's all I'm gonna say about this so far. <laughs> yes, when then you rewind back and you see that I wasn't fucking lying. You people are insane. Wait, okay, for, shit. wait, hold on. This is the first time <laughs> the chat's answered in your favor. Hold on now. Um Vosh specified it was the horny Twitter lefties. Yeah, yeah, but chat, do, I do remember me saying something like, um, I feel like people are just accusing me of shadow boxing when I describe these, like, predatory tendencies. And then Demon Mama said something like, you kind of are. Didn't that happen? I guess uh, I'll have I to rewatch this. But I, I, I love when people throw around words like gaslighting because they have no meaning. Like, I think I've lost the battle on the two words that I've been pushing up against for the past, like, two years as a professional, like, uh, member of these spaces, gaslighting and triggered. I've constantly tried to be like, I don't think we should be using those words. They have very specific meanings. They are related to people who are experiencing trauma. They're necessary for people who have gone under that. But now it's become so colloquial. Like, like everyone uses it so commonly now. It's, it's like right wingers co adopted triggered and, and removed all meaning from it to, to a point now where people are like, eh, you know, it's, 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 yeah, gas triggering. But like Dahlia, I think I think at this point it's it's almost been lost. It's kind of like it's kind of like the like this one is less important because literally it doesn't have any psychological uh, backing behind it. But the idea of literally uh, not literally meaning literally anymore. Now it's just like it's to add emphasis to what you say. Like literally, literally means metaphorically now, right? Like the the, the two things have switched. But like. I've fought that for a long time. I would always, I would always be like, "Hey, by the way, we're we're using this incorrectly. I mean, this word has a meaning, and we should probably use it for what it means, not just to add emphasis to what we say." Like you literally just fucked me over. You literally fucked me. You know, it's like, well, so you mean that I actually had my penis inside you? No, that never happened. So, but but I, I I'm assuming you're meaning metaphorically, right? I Remember, said you language are, is nebulous. But I don't feel like that's it's the true. same thing as saying as, as I don't I don't think that that's reasonably conf like conflatable with me denying that these people exist. That would be insane of me to do that. That's I would the, never do that. That's the feeling that it's, I got when I say yeah, but I that's, worry okay, people but that's think, on you. Now you're reading into my words. I, well, you're always reading into people's words. So the thing, so you said I was fighting a straw man, and then I said I get frustrated when people accuse me of attacking, and they say that the things I'm attacking don't even exist. And then you say you kind of are, which does imply that the thing that I'm describing doesn't exist, right? Like, what? isn't that, isn't that no, the I don't agree with implication? You. No, no. I didn't oh. say that at all. Okay. No, I've been very clear just, about Then let's this. just move on. Okay, so you agree those people existed. Yes, obviously. I've literally said that like three times in this conversation. Of course I, of course I agree there's, there's people. I mean, again, but, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean, change anything about what I'm actually arguing. Because like, like, okay. So they do so exist, if, if, but I shouldn't hold on, hold on a call hold them on a pedos? No, hold on a second. Wait, let me give you an example. If, if. If we do, let's let's take like a Ben Shapiro type. Let's say Ben Shapiro picks on some like pedophile trans person, okay, and says, "Hey, this person exists." And then they, and then Ben Shapiro goes and makes a video talking about trans people and pedophilia. And you might recognize that, oh yeah, maybe the person he was talking about existed. And maybe when you confront them on it, uh, 
he would go, oh, and the I'm not comparing this you. This is the comparison you're making is so extraordinary. No, right? it is not. Just I just said, let me use an extreme example. Hey, hey, shoe on head just messaged me and apparently watched my video on the subject and is taking it to heart. And she's like, I'm, 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 I feel more nuanced on this. I, I, I hope, I hope that means that that will change. That will change the course of this entire thing. That could be a great victory. That could be an amazing victory if we can if we can pivot this conversation in a different direction. You know, we'll see. We'll see. Growth is important to everyone. I see. I see you in the chat. Ye who want the blood. Ye who want the blood to spray the walls. Who would prefer to have blood on the dance floor? Blood on the dance floor rather than growth of any kind. All right. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not saying anything has happened yet. I. I. Okay. We did. Nothing has happened yet. I'm just saying, chat. Okay. Restorative justice is important. It is important. Okay. This is this is important. I could have stayed in the DM. We'll see. We'll see. All right. We'll see. By the way, chat. I love you. Uh, I'm just gonna say that. I, I also love how you frequently. Uh, I I don't know how I curated this. The only thing I think that connects every single one of you is humor. Like you're all very funny. You're all very hilarious, and and y'all should be y'all should be very proud of yourselves for that. That's the one thing I've noticed about my chat, and that it's superior to all other chats is that you y'all are the funniest chat uh, on the internet, and that's really cute. I, I like how that kind of united everybody. But when it comes to liking different content creators, having different opinions, especially on spicy things, I love how there's so many, like half of you will be like, I fucking hate Vosh. The other half will be like, I fucking love Vosh. And then like uh, people will be all over the place because it means that there's a range of uh, opinions and beliefs. Like if there's, I don't have this fucking group think and I don't want that. I don't, I like, I don't want everyone in here to just consistently be like, yes, Lance, whatever you say, daddy. Yeah. Wh what's our opinion today, daddy? How should we, how should we think today? Okay, good. Like, I want y'all to think for yourselves. Like, I want to inspire you to get out there and read things and shit like that. I think it's, I think it's incredibly important. So that, 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 that is, that is cool to see. All right. That, that is very cool to see. Yeah. This is like the only take I've ever agreed with you on. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. M60. One day, one day, you know, like my, my, all of my content is queer friendly and it wasn't just one person. Okay. It was an entire onslaught of arguments. That that were came from me from my own yeah I don't chat want sick offense the broader community I would I there's nothing more disappointing in, to me than having a sycophantic fan base that would be so dis like I want people to to be like oh Lance wow no you you are wrong on this one here's why and then I can take that in and be like oh I guess I am wrong I didn't know about that and then then we can both better ourselves and and increase our like our knowledge together there has to be a benefit to a parasocial relationship on both ends and in discussion of this it was pretty i prefer you were sick of pants that would be fine if you were sick of pants i agree fucking pants are the worst you know the cast off the shackles of your pants that's different okay i want a group of people who are sick of pants that is that i'm fine with just not sick of pants that's like the two the two shall never mix okay but but uh, I mean, if you're sick of pants, that's that's totally good. Then I've done I've done my work. Clearly not condemning pride or gay people. I was condemning some of these arguments. Ramses, thank you for the gift to defend kink at pride. Because some of those yeah. arguments were really bad and really suspect. And in your and in your attempt to, in your in your mind, pace. perhaps oh pace, hit a thank certain you. group of people, you were hitting a lot of people, and I think that that's very. Very bad. Apart with from regard the few to times that I said, "Oh my God, you're all pedophiles." Early on in the not, first stream, it's not that... just "Oh my God, you're all pedophiles." Wait, hold on. Was, so the, was... the hyperbolic I, I... accusations that you're referring to are ones that were not made into a video. The worst ones, where I just said, "Oh my God, you're all pedophiles," those came from a segment that I never released. The video that I released and the tweets that I made only included me accusing people of pedophilic tendencies for making arguments that I specifically described. So with that I'm being said, sure. where was the collateral damage? Wait, like the collateral damage? The collateral damage is fucking all over the place. Have you seen Twitter? Literally, I no, didn't even. I mean, like, which again, groups of people I brought up my I own example that didn't specifically. deserve it. What's that? Which groups of people? Oh, I think there's a lot of people. I think there's a fuckload of people who are getting flack on this for having kink at pride takes that are different than yours, but aren't fucking advocating for pedophilia, who are now having accusations of pedophilia slung at them. So, and that's because, but wait, and that's because I'm not saying that you're individually going after that, but of course not. That would be absurd. But what you did do is you sort of, you started this fucking, you know this, this fucking discourse this time around. This reminds me of people, um, this reminds me of, um, 
whenever I make criticisms of like the LGBT community online, of which I, as uh -huh. a member of it, have plenty, um, people uh, will yes, often no. say like, okay, yeah, the arguments were good. And the things you were criticizing exist, but I do, I disagree with that. I don't think that his audience bullied uh, Big Joel off Twitter. I think like again, this did not happen in a vacuum. It wasn't like just Vosh pushing up against this. There was numerous people. I think, for example, Lauren Southern uh, combined with Destiny, you know, locking arms, whatever the meme is going to be. That that one, that one would have done more damage towards Big Joel because they were both retweeting him than than Vosh or, or VGG. Conservatives no, I are going to use these arguments too in bad faith. Okay, let and me be really clear. True, one, I feel like let me the be clear. The only other thing I can do is just not the speak of the wrong, negative yeah. elements of those communities, and I can't do that, and nobody should do that. Criticism can improve a community. So I think what we have to do here is recognize that, hey, I'm, and I'm, I want to be really clear about this, even if I had never opened my mouth, a lot of you were going to get called pedos anyway. Big cultural discourse, a lot of lefties online putting their foot in their mouths pretty hard. I like Big Joel, but man, did he Bad take. Bad take. His tweet thread come off like massive conservative con condemnation bait. It feels like a lot of people on the left are like ignorant okay, to okay. how Wait, bad I, I things understand. can get out there. Like the idea no, that I'm no, responsible for I the really entire. But this is like this. this is neither here nor there. You're, you've gone off on like another tangent. This has nothing. Like, what does Joe Big Joel like? I don't know what Big Joel has anything to do with what I'm I saying. I feel like here. what I said Here's was pretty relevant to what you just said. I don't think I'm solely responsible for the discourse, and I don't think the existence of no, negative obviously, you're not. You're not solely responsible for the entire kink at Pride discourse. But I believe I think that there is enough enough view counts and and interaction for fuck's sake your name was trending with kink at pride so yeah sorry but you but i don't you really think that means this one off this way. i'm responsible and you it off, for every lefty you, who got called a pedo i'm not i life. never said that then why what, can't you engage with these in in actual like actually try to hear what i'm saying like it sounds what, like you're desperate then what is the collateral damage who got the collateral a damage is, is a product of me that didn't deserve it apart from the incredibly hyperbolic and super broad condemnations that came out from I don't think that the, I don't think that all of your accusations were as as uh as clearly hyperbolic and hyper broad as you'd like to think and this is my reaction as somebody who watched the videos and responded go wow damn that seems like a fucking broad blast and I do think that especially and I know that you I know that you know this I know that you agree with me on this because that on issues like this we have to be careful with rhetoric I agree but I don't yes. I've never said otherwise I said but, and yet the at the same time you're refusing started. to you, you continue to play you could you've continued throughout this conversation to downplay when I say hey wait, when you started so you out say, and there's wait. tons of no wait listen hold on hold on let me finish you asked me like multiple questions I'm going to finish my point now okay okay so when you ask me what's the collateral, and I point to Twitter and I go, your name and kink at pride is is trending. And in every single conversation, everybody who touches it is getting called a pedo if you so much as disagree with your take. And by the way, there are a lot of people who specifically reference your argument and said, I think Fosh is the right take on this. And if you disagree with that, these were people that I got in my comments. And I'm not saying a lot of them. There were a few. And I know you're not responsible for every single one. But I think that there are lines so that you can acknowledge and say, damn, opening this up with with broad and vague accusations of pedophilia against other queer people. I already, so why, get you can't, I'm gonna, we're, okay, if you bring this up again, I have to hang up, because I can't go, okay. I can't do the 11th t time. You asked me what you the collateral though, is, and I'm describing it. No, 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 you can describe the collateral without saying once more, it was irresponsible of me to make hyperbolic okay. accusations of pedophilia because I know that. Okay. Then you now, know the collateral. So, then you should know no, the collateral. No, that's not the same as knowing the collateral. Okay. Because I engage in a lot of hyperbole on this stream. And I don't think that because I trended on Twitter and people on the left got called pedophiles, that means there's a direct one to one connection between me doing that, like between X and Y. Especially since no, the most. No, obviously. Please, please. Especially since the most publicized content that I engaged in was much more directed and responsible with the accusations that I made. So, with all of that being said, one uh, of the other I issues that I don't have agree is with that, that but okay. the overstatement of harm can be really destructive in these instances. I got a fuck ton of abuse online for this, and all the takes you can find on Twitter are pretty milk toast. I think the well was poisoned ubiquitously by pretty much every major actor who participated in it. And it's frustrating to me that I know I'm the only one who's going to get burnt on this. That there You're are not the only one. Wait, first, wait, hold on. 
all the rando Twitter queer accounts that got 12, 12 20,000 likes giving their dumb fuck picks on this are going to fade into anonymity afterwards. This is going okay. to stick to me for years. So yes, I am the yeah, only but, one. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm the only one who's going to get burned for this. Okay? Now, I, I hey, you know what? I also make six figures. I accept the consequences of being a public figure. But it's frustrating to me that you would come on here and just try to grind my nose and the irresponsibility, the bad faith, the poisoning. Gosh, come on. You've that mentioned is... it like a dozen times. No, with, with I was trying to elucidate. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Real, real quick, real quick. Before you, before you try to accuse me of trying to of, come on you here, you were sorry, grinding my to... nose in it. You've brought you it up accused... a dozen times. We've, no, we keep acknowledging not. it over oh, and over on. and over Gosh, again. Fuck. fuck. Are you this defensive? Oh, like, I this got like, better. Look, Bring it up again and we'll see. All right, listen. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for subjecting chat to uh, engaging in a in apparently my humiliation uh, dom kink. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, but that was not my intention at all. That's never been my intention. Please don't read intention into me. I feel like you're being very defensive about that. Yes, we're both very spicy. We both are very contentious. We both have. I mean, you open this again. You've already admitted, and I have. We know. We just talked about this, but. That's kind Just of that. Make sure to bring frame. it up again in five minutes for any new no, viewers. No, I'm not. We're, this is what we're talking about, Vosh. What the fuck do you want from me? You want me just to just say, so, okay. As I understood it, the way arguments work is that once you make an argument and it gets acknowledged and accepted, you generally move on to the next argument rather than continuing to cycle sure. back to it. But that yes, might just be then my... that's fine. I But also, I was this entire tangent my came bias. off from you asking me what the collateral was, and then I tried to respond, and you could, took cont contest with my d definition of, of collateral. Okay, now, so I've responded I... to that, and I've said that okay. the well was already mega poisoned all around, and I don't think there's a strong okay. link. Or at the very least, I think you're overstating the extent to which the unpublished hyperbolic accusations that I made contributed to how poisoned the discourse was. I feel like so there were one, a ton of factors one. that contributed to it, and you're like really hyper fixating on that one bit. Nope, nope, nope. One, okay. I'm talking so, to wait, you. Wait, hold on, case, hold on. Let me, wait, 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 wait. Let me, wait. No, because you just said your thing, and I want to respond to that. Like, what the, say. So, no, I don't think I've overstated any harm. You asked me for the collateral. I described the collateral, I believe, very accurately. And while I don't think that you're the only person who contributed to this, I've never claimed that. I am talking to you. I'm talking to you right now, of course. which means, yeah. But when you're okay? only talking so, to one participant, the extent to which, so, I, so I, I don't remember the exact words you used, but you came into this uh -huh. discussion with some extremely fiery condemnations of my behavior. Yeah, so, no, I have, I had, I had condemnations for what we already settled and you admitted that you don't, that you don't agree with it. I think that I personally think that it's more serious. Uh, I, I can admit perhaps that was a, a miswording. Okay, fine, fine, fine. That's fine. That's fine. We all speak. Yeah, I wasn't trying to be like spicy. Yeah. Okay. Like I so, was, I was just trying to say like, I, in this conversation, I believe you've said it's like, uh, something along the lines of it's a serious issue among, among gay issues online like gay okay. communities online this is a serious issue this this stuff is propagating in these communities am i wrong about that did you not say that in your I videos think it propagates here? in every community but there are certain okay. ways in which i think you can misuse woke language to get away with enabling abusive behavior so remember uh -huh. jessica yaniv blair white fixation extraordinaire yes, of course. absolutely okay. how could so i ever forget that blair uh not blair white jessica yaniv was very, I don't know if the word's effective, but very insistent on using progressive arguments to enable sexual abuse and generally abusive behavior of the people around her, up to yeah. including body positivity being used as an excuse for her to be the sole chaperone for an underage topless party, you're transphobic yeah. if you don't wax my genitals, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. now, am I to say that pedophilia and sexual abuse are only problems in the LGBTQ community? Of course not. But there are ways in which LGBTQ uh, community members can use specific language to get away with their bullshit. It's just, it's like, it's cultural too. Americans will yeah. use different excuses than like Saudi Arabians. Like it's just with the communities that you're in dictate the ways in which you can abuse people mm -hmm. around you. So I, some I of the takes that I saw made me really, really uncomfortable, like viscerally okay. uncomfortable. Now this all sparked around that picture of the little girl next to that. Yeah, but like if that's the case, and you know that very very well may be, you would have to demonstrate that that is speaking to a broader problem as a whole that is affecting the LGBTQIA plus community or scene. Like that, that's what you or or Shuenhead or anyone who's making that accusation would have to prove or demonstrate. You know, wholesome leather pride thing where there were the guys in the the 
dog gimp thing and the leash and yeah, whatever. The, the one that was from Opera. Sargon's in the Vosh stream chat. Uh, you could, like, I, there's Soygen of Akkad, Sargon of Kakad, Sagan of something. Like, there's so many versions of, of Sargon that pop up in my stream. Someone donates money every now and then as Sargon of Akkad. I don't think that's the real Sargon of Akkad. Someone donates money a lot as, or Short Fatu Taku spent like a month donating like two or three dollars at the start of every stream. I don't really know if that was Short Fatu Taku. You know, there's no, there's no way of knowing that if that's the real, if that's the authentic Sargon of Akkad, you know. Pride fall. Yes. The one that was taken from a picture from Folsom Leatherfair, and I never claimed otherwise. Yes, thank you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. And um, it wasn't, wasn't it Folsom? No, no, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Folsom. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I'm um, pretty sure it was Folsom. Yeah, yeah, but whatever the case is. So I don't like stuff like that because I think that. No, the, Vice President, I only have so much time in the day. Sexual kink. And I think the children shouldn't be around that. Maybe that makes me a crazy neocon. Okay, whatever. I stand by that position. I just think there's a lot of no, potential no, for harm I, nobody. But there. see, nobody's not, like I'm not saying you're a crazy neocon. Nobody's saying you're a crazy neocon. But when that gets conflated into a conversation about kink at Pride, which is, you know, this is the vague thing that that well, I keep am in mind. Initially, with. I only showed that picture and I said, yeah, I think we can agree this isn't good. But then people well, in my I mean, chat started but, but saying, then the... people in my chat started defending the little girl being next to the sex dog leather thing. And they were saying stuff like, I mean, I feel like gross just saying this, but they were saying stuff like, look at the girl. She looks happy. She clearly doesn't have an issue with it. Or like nudity isn't inherently sexual anyway. And these okay. types of behaviors, not only. Nudity isn't inherently sexual though. I mean, you can, you can be, you can be like naked and, and it's not necessarily sexual. That's like that's just that's just, like that's part of part of part of human nature kind of thing. Only are they representative of ways by which you can justify abuse of others? I have heard them from attempted abusers of me, oh. so that kind yeah. of stuff makes me really uncomfortable. And the frustration I had with the initial stream is that when I condemned these people, so as someone who has an experienced, um, I guess, uh, sexual molestation or attempted sexual molestation as a child, at least not that I'm aware of, I can't speak to someone's lived experience on that ground. But I again would say that when it comes to this issue, the burden of proof would be on anyone who is accusing this of being a substantial problem or a broad problem to demonstrate that you would have to demonstrate that there is a concerted effort to infect the LGBTQIA plus community, uh, that there's a large swath of members who want to expose themselves to children in gimp suits uh, and to have that be sexualized, stuff of like that. Whereas I think the overwhelming majority, I'm saying this again without any basis, or, but I'm not the one making the accusation, the overwhelming majority just want to exist, right? They just want to be able to do an event such as Pride where they are not going to be judged consistently for aspects of who they are. And part of that is expressing themselves in various forms. They don't want children to be there at the bad triple X rated events. I don't think anyone has been advocating for that as well. You know, a lot of the people didn't see me condemning people engaging in really, really creepy behavior. They saw me being a neocon about pride. So more people in my chat who aren't pedophiles started defending people who gave takes that were really suspect to me. And I, of course, banned some of these people, and I grew increasingly frustrated as more and more people accused me of being homophobic Folsom with my bans. Like, like I'm banning gay people, or I'm banning pride-friendly people, and could I have handled this better? Certainly. But you know what? I defer to a classic woke defense, which was that I was a little bit fucking triggered by seeing some shit that made me really uncomfortable in my okay, community. Okay, yes. So I went I, for I... it. And, and and I banned a lot of people. And maybe a lot of those people didn't deserve to be banned because they didn't mm. know what they were criticizing me for doing, and that's fine. And hey, mm. if you got banned unfairly, you can email me, and I will unban you. I can check your logs. I'm very liberal with unbans, okay? But then yes. I went on Twitter. That's good. I mean, this is all good. That's all, that's all admitting to it. That's all really good to see. 27 do's and don'ts for Folsom Street Fair. Welcome to Fetish Heaven. Uh, the closest thing to it, read more below. Do come with an open mind. Do leave your pets, non-human ones, and kids at home. What do you know? It's the second fucking rule. 
Around 400,000 people are coming. They will be crammed into 13-city box. Expense dense standing room crowds. Warm temperatures over the top get-ups. It gets cramped. Walking a dog or pushing a stroller is impossible in parts for the fair. As much as we love dogs, the fair is for human ones as well as other pets, leather ponies, rubber kitties, and so on. Many of us love kids. That said, we don't want your kids at the fair. The Folsom Street Fair is a place for adult revelry. One of the few places where you can freely walk around in as much or as little clothing as possible, where you can show off your kinks, where you can go nude, on, on only in the fairgrounds, of course, and more. We appreciate the parents who are open minded and welcoming to human sexuality enough to bring their kids to the fair. Fairgoers do not want them there. Fucking incredibly, incredibly clear. And I saw thousands of people with those takes because they're right. so desperate to not look like a conservative prude that they will defend anything to own the cons, including no, shit like I, that. See, but this is where I, I mean, like, I, okay, that's but what I, I feel saw. like that describes my experience. That's what do I you felt. Think, do okay. you think that that's like representative of like, uh, do you, do you think that that's like the representative of like the left's position on this? Because a lot of the because a lot of the claims you've made, even in this stream, has been that the left has a big problem with this. And okay, like if that's the case, then let's see it. Let's talk about the actual problems. If it's random, I understand. If there's people on Twitter, people say horrible shit on Twitter all the time. But first of all, this has been this issue with we're talking about the the Folsom thing has obviously been conflated with the issue of pride at kink which is a completely different or, or kink at pride which is totally in my opinion a totally different issue and it has led to a fever pitch where you can't even talk about it i can't even say something like hey uh kinksters have had a huge historical impact in pride and i don't think that they should be just because that some of them are deemed too uh too edgy or whatever for for public the, the light of public day guess what my parents i i talked about this on my stream my fucking parents two of my parents used used uh, literally believe that being trans is a kink and use that as a reason to threaten my life okay you know what i mean you, for like this is my, and that is that is weaponized for, no, so obviously that's fucked up what you just described your experience right but from my perspective i couldn't even call out overtly abusive behavior without getting condemned so hard by the LGBTQ community that I went trending nationally. You can but look, why? I've lost, uh, do you think it could have been? The reason think it why been? is the same reason good people Wait. got banned from my chat. Because they but, saw two groups. They saw creepy fucking lefties defending creepy fucking shit with kids, and they saw me. And the left hates me more than they hate the former group. So they came out in droves to attack me and implicitly defend the behavior of the earlier group. And that's Vosh, the problem. I, I think, um, is there a word for it? Like, I, I think that you're seeing an enemy where there isn't one. Is, is there a word for that? Like a scarecrow, maybe? Is, is that the term, scarecrow? But that, that's what I think is happening here. Because I don't, I don't think there's like a swath of the left. Like, I, I just, I haven't seen it who are like, I want doggy doms getting whipped and beaten with like throbbing erections around kids like i've never i've never heard of that you know a scarecrow of boxing shadows i know i know a straw man argument is is a logical fallacy but i'm just i'm just saying if you create something uh that that you know a boogeyman in essence yeah and i'm not saying that vosh doesn't believe that i, I i'm guessing he does believe that because he seems very passionate about this he seems but like I just don't believe that's there. I think the same thing for Shoe on Head. I think Shoe on Head thinks that there is like this concerted like pedophilic element that is trying to like secretly enter this arena, and and, and I I think that is misplaced. That is misplaced to to see it that way. I, no, no, no. I feel that's the problem. So you I, think the well was poisoned for you? It was poisoned for all of us. And my frustration was that, and my current. Oh, my mic is though. When did this happen? Sorry, that was weird. It just I just noticed it was randomly that was the first time it's been turned down that low. I'm just I'm trying to make trying to make my arguments very small, small, small little small little arguments off in the corner here. I'm 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 shy. I'm I'm shy about my, my opinion on all this. Criticism right now, by the way, is that mm -hmm. the community on the left is so insular and so defensive that they would rather attack people making valid criticisms than they would root out the problems within their community. A la tankies, a la woke scolds, all of these pernicious. Yeah. I saw people trying to actually normalize the Folsom. Yeah, there's gonna. I'm not saying there's not people who are gonna try and normalize that. I'm not saying there's people who also like. I think people, in, rather than normalize it, are trying to contextualize it a little bit more. As in, like, hey, by the way, this person, and this is probably true. Those people 
were not pedophiles, probably. Those people were probably people in dog costumes who happened to be doing their thing in open, and a bad parent brought their kid to the BDSM festival. That's like, that's what that photo is showing. A bad kid brought, uh, sorry, a bad parent brought their kid to the BDSM festival when it's not supposed to be a thing that you do. You do not get bring your kids to the, the Folsom festival. That should have been the be all and end all of the conversation. That like, this falls upon the parent or the lack of structural systems in place uh, that unfortunately have led to a kid uh, just being able to wander that area. Don't know if it's a situation in which the parents, you know, they, they were working or if they have a bad family dynamic. I'm just saying that's where the responsibility of this issue should lie. We should not then be pointing the arrows and the, the, the snipers at the kink community, right? Because that's what we've done. We've kind of been like, well, kink is clearly degenerate because you can see it in this photo. Look how cringe this is. This is doggy doms, all right, talking to a, lung, a young child. This, this right here, this cannot stand. We should be focusing on the fact that, yes, kids are not permitted at that event. A bad parent or a lack of a structural system led to that kid being there. That's what we should focus on. Yes. Communities in the can online you? left, they would rather side with them against minor criticism. Okay, 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 okay. Wait, can you acknowledge that perhaps People, largely queer people, who have been um, in many times, send it again, and this is a systemic issue. I know, I know you don't disagree with me. I hope you don't disagree with me on this. That it's a systemic issue that pedophilia has been weaponized historically and currently against gay people, and now especially trans people. People see you being very, and and we agreed this was careless about that rhetoric, and respond, and that now we're at this point, and there is a a sensation of incredible heat when the rhetoric you chose in that initial thing really, really hit an incredible sore spot and was probably a little bit too vague given the topic, especially with the conflation. Well, that's that, I, that's a good a good worded argument from Demon Mama. Credit credit where credit is due. But the issues ahead. All, all I'm going to say that? is that when I see some legit creepy shit going on to the left, and I point it out, and the rest of the online left, instead of thinking, "Oh, that is some you creepy think... shit," they instead go, "You can't call." But see, gay this is what I'm talking about. Pedophiles. You're doing it right now, though. You're no, doing it right that, now. You're so, saying, no, you're, you're saying the rest you of accept... the online left. Wait, do you really think that nobody has to, uh, nobody agrees with you? There are so many fucking people who have agreed with your position with like unflagging. Uh, unflagging uh, zealousness. Within, like, you have a lot of so people who agree with your position. Within, not just in your community. Within the left, this is not true. We were in the minority. I saw nearly... Wait, I can think of I can think of so many other content creators that, that sided with you. Like, we have fucking... Like, uh, just I've been going, watching this Just shit. going by likes and retweets, I saw people condemning me with five-digit likes and retweets. My, my take on it got ratioed mm -hmm. so hard that I went trending... Uh, shoe on head is the only person ostensibly on the left who had a take aligned with mine that was similar to mine. I don't know. I mean, uh, would, are we considering Destiny officially like a, a center right contrarian? Because if so, if we're still labeling Destiny, Destiny as someone on the left, then Destiny was definitely on that side of the fence uh, in the fear mongering side. Big Joel came out against it. Uh, Lance came out against it. Sean got like 20,000 likes saying some stupid bullshit that wasn't even relevant to the discussion. True, Shu true. Shu and I both got ratioed. Um, uh -huh. it, so, again, this isn't like a competition. It's just uh -huh. the frustration yeah, to me. The frustration to me is like, if I get like upset at some weird pedo shit that I'm seeing and I call it out and like there's an overwhelming avalanche of condemnation driven against me and very little against the people that I am. And I want to be totally clear here, by the way, I wasn't condemning Vosh online. I like I, I was condemning the rhetoric that was coming out and the rhetoric, by the way, it gets amplified. You have to understand, like, it can be the origins of all of this could have been pinpointed to Shu. I don't think they were. It could have been pinpointed to Lauren Southern. I don't know if they were. It could have been pinpointed to Lauren Southern being magnified by Destiny. I don't know if it was. But wherever the origins were, once it's become part of the ether and we're all talking about it and it has become the discourse TM, at that point, yes, that's that's where I'm starting to be like, well, I have to push back against this largely, point out the hypocrisy, show the SpongeBob fucking memes and all this kind of stuff, show the show the Catwoman stuff. That's, that's at one point. And it was not a direct, like, Vosh fucked up. Here's here's my response about Vosh fucking up. Shoe on head. Shoe on head fucked up. Here it is. Here's my response to shoe on head fucking up. I mean, I did directly respond to shoe on head's pedo thing, because, yeah, yikes. That That's a big-ass yikes to saying that, like, gay people are being useful idiots for pedophiles. 
Uh, yeah, I know. I I, uh, I added I added to I added to the discourse. Initially, had a problem with uh, like that. That's I, just really. But that's because because there can't possibly be there can't be condemnation against the handful of people that were in your chat when you're not no, clear no, no, with no, no. that. They were all and over I the don't place think on you Twitter. Were. No, because. All of this predicates this. All of this predicates on your arguments being specific. Otherwise, when people come to your video, and and again, I watch all your stuff. You know this. Like I've okay, not all of it anymore. I've been too busy with fucking streaming. But you know, I've been a part of your community. You know, I fucking appreciate your take, and you know that I appreciate you. Okay, look, I know we're spicy, but I hope you know that. Okay, no, I, but I, I, just, I will say they were on Twitter. Think, there were a lot of them, and nobody was calling them out. Because okay. people on the left don't want to be accused of infighting. They're terrified of it. That's why they hate me. I'm the only one brave enough no, to infight on the no, left. left. No, that's not true. No, that's that so is, not true. No, that just, is no, true. I disagree with you lefties on this so will take I any, so No, much. lefties will take any dumb fuck position if it means they get to stay part of the social club. And it's not cool no. to say, hey, there are problems with, with some I, of the I, rhetoric we use for sex positivity at Pride. Mm -hmm. That's not a cool take to make. It sounds like a conservative no, take. No, I, I, Vosh, that's not the take you made, though. We know this. We, you already acknowledged this. That's not the take you made. The take you made was was, here's my problems with kink here i'm going to make a fuckload of of, of jokes about how people these people just want to waggle their dicks in the face of kids that's a quote of the, you, yeah, the some way. of those people yeah no i think some of yeah, those, people, sure those people unironically exist, should be banned you, from pride do, but you surely you surely can understand where when you conflate those two things it's going to it's that is going to by the rhetoric this is not an issue of other people reading into you your own words were limited in such a way that many people are not going to be able to conclude that I recognize that, but I okay. feel like the statements I made Sorry. warranted enough specificity to give people a clear outline of the problem and that people jumped on any excuse they could find and not take it seriously because, I mean, realistically, because Vosh bad. Um, some of Do the takes that I saw talk? online were insane. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you there. I apologize. It's fine. No, Sorry. Wait, I'm, so okay. I want to be clear. I'm not saying that I couldn't have been more specific because I've said that multiple times, but the way this all went down in my opinion, is reflective of some pretty major problems in the online left. Like, this is ridiculous. I mean, the, like, like, so, I mean, I can run down all the big ones that I remember. There was the massive tweet saying that kids don't even belong at Pride, which I think, by the way, is a homophobic statement. If you're, like, the people who need Pride more than anyone else are, like, queer, questioning, and trans kids, because they're the ones who have the least amount so, of Sorry, you cut support. out again. Hold on, you sorry. cut out again. There, were, there was a huge tweet saying that um, kids shouldn't even uh, be at Pride, which I think is, um, is, a, is a horrible take and maligns yeah, a lot of I underrepresented mean, people. I, Sean's I, take I where he said, um, have you considered that you can see boobs on television? <laughs> it's absolutely moronic because nobody was talking about that. But people, no. I saw the replies to that tweet. It's not, not what he said, but that's objectively funny. <laughs> hundreds and thousands of likes, which means tens of thousands of people participating, which means hundreds of thousands okay, of people supporting yeah. the idea that my uh, criticisms were saying I had a problem with any kink at Pride right, or that I had a problem with dudes going shirtless at Pride. G guys, for those though. of you who are on Twitter, how many counter arguments were making responses to positions that I've never made. They were making counter arguments suggesting that I believed in things that I didn't believe. This was okay, all okay. over the place. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. We're, we're, getting, we're getting way ahead of the conversation here. So there's, there's two ways we can go with this. Like, one, I can explain. We can continue to talk about this, and I can explain to you where I think in your, in your videos, and I do think this, by the way. I have a notepad of this. It's not because I don't like you. It's because I really appreciate your stuff, and I have some critiques about the way that you approach this issue. However, I could bring up specific examples that I think led to people having responses like that, which I don't think that Sean have getting a quippy burn on you that, 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 and I, I don't agree with, with Sean's takes, but I don't think that Sean getting a quippy burn on you, uh, that like doesn't full, that responds to like one of your arguments in these videos is like equivalent to you. Like, I, I don't think, I don't even think it's equivalent. I don't even think that's just, that's just somebody got a, a dunk on you that might be slightly unfair. First that's of neither all, here I, nor there. I have to be, I, it has to be my argument for it to be a dunk on me. And second of all, all of the burns that we're looking at, all the discourse took place on Twitter. So if we're going to determine the significance of different positions, we kind of have to look at Twitter engagement to do this, by sure. which I got massively outpaced by a wide range of people with very stupid arguments. Which, sure. which, and by the way, if you can read frustration into my voice, like, I do get frustrated by this stuff. Yeah, I feel I like there are predators right now that nobody is paying attention to. Not only is nobody paying attention to them, but people are being baited into defending them 
because the alternative makes them look like they're being a pro yeah no i disagree i i don't i don't think that the, again i don't think that's a huge problem and if it was you would have to demonstrate uh, that these predators uh who are trying to infiltrate their way into the left or, or or gay spaces or anything like that uh are prevalent enough that it warrants a problem in a discussion that is going to be equatable and i mean this equatable in its severity equatable in its severity to what the implication of that does in terms of damage to the broader lgbtqia plus community as a whole that's that's what would have to be demonstrated and i don't see that rude about kink at pride and that to me is really fucked up because oh, my, that because that means and this is a statistical certainty that somebody either has been or will be abused because somebody didn't take seriously a criticism because it in some way resembled a conservative complaint at pride i'd be willing to bet this has happened many times sure just yeah, I, I I disagree. I disagree with this take in the strongest possible terms. Everything like is numbers happening. game. Yeah. The, the, but this has. But these are these are these are sort of. This is like gut check. Like this is. I don't know. We if we want to talk about specifics, sure. Do I, like I don't know. Like this is the thing. I don't we have can numbers go on the number of people. Yeah, I know. But do you see how like? But but do you see how this red like what we're what we're saying here is very different than than the previous thing okay so like I, i'm okay with us talking about these things but like i i just feel like i feel like this is we're getting to a point where uh on in this conversation we're now talking about sean and and big joel do we want to talk about the actual takes i'd be more than happy in fact i'd be super comfortable uh talking about specific takes whatever maybe you think it was i don't think that that was argument you're going to be going forward with then 100%. I think that having having safe, kid-friendly areas of, of pride... Their optics poorly as well. Oh, oh my god. Um, I mean, no, I'm not okay, speaking sure. to you. What's you're, an example? Let's discuss, let's discuss an example of this, because I think I, I did some takes on your this, tweets look, I have a different... Your tweets look fine to me, by the way. I'm not impugning you. But the broader discourse that I saw from the left was this insane defensiveness. Um, okay, give me an example. Let's talk about it. I would love to talk about this with you, actually. I don't remember specific tweets. The only point that I'm trying to make here is that if you're an outsider, like, let's say not, let's just say you're a conservative, whatever, okay? Uh, yeah, Shu apparently has many examples, no doubt. If you're a oh, I know, Shu's been, Shu, Shu, you've been fucking chomping at the bit. If you oh, that's where I, that's where, uh, I think this is where I bowed out. Fuck, I've had to rewatch so much of the same stuff. Or maybe I just skipped over parts of this. Well, oh, it's because it, I left, that's why. I, st I started watching this, and then it was like, it was a train wreck style, and I was like, oh, can't look away. And then I was like, I'm really hungry, I should go get food left to go get food, came back, and then that's, this is around the, the, the other part that I saw. But that's when I actually DM'd Shu, and I was like, I'm willing to talk about this on or offline, whatever you want, but like, you, I, I think you're completely wrong here. Chatter is going to be a rhetorical genius, and I recognize, I recognize one thing between blowing some fucking dumb shit out in chat, and, again, I don't want to, I don't want to circle back I, at I'm all. just like, so I'm not over the way Sarah Zed came for Shu, how did Sarah Zed came for, Shu? and by the way, it's pronounced Sarah Zed, she's Canadian. Uh, how did, how did she come after Shu? I'd be curious about that. When, when, when taken the bait, oh, by the way, rather... oh, by the way, real quick. Real, real quick, I did have one very specific. Uh, I did have one very specific critique of you uh, in your video in which you talked about public nudity. Uh, I'm going to bring this one up because this is funny as fuck. But you said, "Oh, in New York City, women are allowed to go topless, but they don't." That is not true. I've been to New York City so many times. There are literally every hour of every day there are topless women in t in Times Square. But just so you know, just so you know. Okay, but like, okay, Small sorry, I should have been more clear though. But like, what percentage? Like, it's not like they're all doing it. Like, there are reasons the majority of them don't. It's because yeah, that's pretty. pretty a lot common. of. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure if we measured it out in public. Public, it'd be like 99.99999 percent of women at any yeah yeah you're probably right you're right, right i'm just some women do and that's great god bless them look just I'll, I'll say this much okay if we're talking about the irresponsibility of hyperbolic discourse i would re way 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 rather like optics wise hyperbolically uh -huh. call people pedophiles for like disagreeing with the take that i have on kink and children <sighs> ride than i would people oh. hyperbolically defend it by citing the legitimacy of public nudity not being inherently See, but this sexual. is where i disagree but, with you no, because this is, but this is where i do disagree with you on this, that to me think, is and, like wait, wait, orders on, of wait, magnitude hear, hear me out hear me out before you go off okay listen you know i'm fucking <laughs> Yeah, I, I I'm on the other side of this one too. Just just because like I think pedophilic fear mongering is just like it's been a tool of the right, and it's what they always try to. It's like fucking. That's the entire basis of QAnon, right? Is that there's a secret cult of pedophiles that are a cabal. Sorry, not a cult of of, of liberal pedophiles uh, who are uh, organizing to take down you know the right. It's like. 
I, I don't I don't see this as a verifiable problem again within uh, the gay community any more than it is within any other community. Like, are there gay pedophiles? Absolutely. Are there straight pedophiles? Of course. Of course. Any community, any group. There's seven billion human beings on the planet. There is going to be pedophiles that happen to be representational of tons of groups. There's black pedophiles. There's white pedophiles. But you have to be able to indicate that there is a problem and that this problem is unique and it is growing or that it is somehow infiltrating the existing gay community in such a way that it warrants this kind of discussion. Which again, by warranting this kind of discussion, you are giving it gravity and enough gravity that it has to be in conflict with the damage that it can potentially do by relevying this accusation that has been tarnishing the gay community for as long as the gay community has been vilified. That's that's what's going down here in good faith. I've sat here this whole this entire time and I won't even talk about chat. OK, but um, let's just let you know, I'm in good faith here. What I'm going to say is I, I I understand where you're coming from on that, but I strongly disagree. The like pedophilia and accusations of pedophilia is like the fucking almost the primary the the primary uh, spear that is used against queer people of all stripes and it was against gay people i think that being ca being careless with accusations of pedophilia when talking about pride when talking about queer people when talking about, talking about trans people like i think that's but really bad i think that's a do the pedophilia like wait 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 wait, 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 wait which makes the the left look more full of pedophiles right is it a guy calling out pernicious behavior by calling the people who do it pedophiles? Or is it the guys defending being nude in front of children in public? In my opinion, Bosh, Bosh, the Bosh, latter sorry, is sorry, a much but, greater contributor to the... No, I, I disagree with you. I think that... Wait a second. Hold on a second. You're you're trying to tell me that you think some lefty making a, a slightly poor argument I saw about nudity Wait, wait. Public... It's not slightly okay, poor. Wait, wait. It's a defense okay. of child uh, abuse. And there are argument. thousands of them. Okay, wait. Okay, hold on a second. So this is where I feel like we're being vague again. It depends on the. On, I guess it. Depends. Sorry, total non sequitur. Who the fuck is Sophia Narwitz? What what is what is happening? I keep getting tagged by this person who tags every left wing content producer and is like, "You have lied about Sophia Harwitz. How can you continue to do so?" I I have no idea who that is. I what is wrong with you? Like I, I do I I don't get they're doing it again on Twitter right now. They they've just tagged like every content creator. Uh, what what the fuck what is I I am so confused. Yeah, I'm sorry, you have a public account. Like this this is this is not putting someone on blast because they have zero followers and zero everything. This is like just a burner account by the, the strongest degree. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit it's an excellent one i have, i have no idea i am so good the, the internet's a wild and weird place i am so utterly confused by this you know i i have no idea what is going on COVID <laughs> like, everyone is getting tagged in this i'm back to remind you pieces of shit sophia narwitz isn't this also applies to you guys <laughs> this applies to you people as well <laughs> you also advocate and enjoy movies like Luca, which has caused the whole fucking country of Italy to hate Sophia Narwitz. <laughs> who is Sophia Narwitz? I have no idea who that is. I can't talk about, like, I can't shit talk someone I don't know exists. <laughs> who is this phantom, the specter, <laughs> this phantom haunting Twitter? Oh my god. <laughs> I have to find you, Sophia Narwitz. I am I'm so very curious. Oh, probably this. Okay, hold on. Who hurt you? Who hurt you, Sophia? Sophia Narwitz. Awful human being, atrocious op-ed writer, world's worst journalist, queen of cringe, YouTuber and Twitch streamer, you probably hate me. I don't know who you are. I mean, if this is a marketing campaign, it's a stroke of genius. She getting big mad about something again? Wait, I'm also being stalked online by some obsessed psycho while these people endlessly take slanders my name and I'm somehow still the villain? <laughs> I have no idea who the fuck you- I'm not familiar with anything you've ever done! <laughs>
This this is a stroke of genius in terms of fucking like marketing. Yeah, no, I, I'm paying attention now. The game rant. Why we need a consumer revolt? Cyberpunk isn't as immersive as I'd hoped. Okay. You don't even seem that reactionary. I I, I don't understand where this is all going. <laughs> I'm I'm endlessly For fascinated. Every ten seconds you don't sing. I'm removing no, a no. gift from your next care package I was going to send for your birthday. No, no please don't. I can't. So, I'm not. one, two, What do you three. want to sing? What do you want to sing? Just sing a song. Any song. I want Twiz to sing a song. Which one? You gotta give me a request. I don't to... so, I, Everything I find out or, or, or go down here, uh, I have more questions than it answers. Infinitely more questions than it answering. Uh, I I am so very confused, and intrigued. Very int yeah. I'm not even mad. I'm I'm not even mad. You know. I just I, I'm just I'm just curious. <laughs> what? <laughs> She's actually a robot. She's a Gamergate chick who recently crowdfunded her transition surgery. Okay. Well, I mean, awesome. I'm glad you were capable of transitioning. Uh, that makes me happy for you. I don't know who you are. Who is the burner account? Who is the pretentious poof? Like, it has to be Sophia Nurwitz, I guess. B but, like, to say, like, every single one of you won't stop talking. <laughs> I've never mentioned you before, but I and you know what's really funny about this? I, I'm, this is not the first person to have said this. Chud Logic, I saw, tweeted out, like, I have no idea who Sophia Nurwitz is. <laughs> Brilliant. Br expert marketing campaign. Fuck. I gotta make a burner account tag every major creator I know and then be like, you would talk shit about Lance of the Serfs every single one of you, you know? <laughs> like, this is a fucking Denny's. <laughs> does this does this change at all? I, I feel like I've been watching this for a long time. It's kind of going in circles. Homosexual people all over the country, you know this. That, that, that item, not only does it embolden the right, but it also spreads a lot of genuine toxicity and fear among the left and i'm sorry but you are one of the biggest and one of the most influential leftist people in america right now that's big don't okay you think, don't and so you think it also makes the left and the queer community look really bad when you come on here and say essentially you have to be extra careful pointing out predatory or pedophilic behavior from queer people because optically it'd be bad to be as upfront with it in those communities as it would be in other communities. That's not what I said, though. I mean, well, if that's well, hold on, if because that's... this, because this is because I hear this before. It's basically <sighs> like you know, oh, you can't like say this stuff about like ex trans person or whatever because trans people get this criticism. And well, that that's true, sure. But when you're publicly acknowledging that and saying like, hey, you got to be more careful with this, it kind of makes it seem like you're going easy on them, which does nope. the optics game no, from the I, other this end. Is, I do not agree with this. I think, that is a very, I think that is a very unfair comparison. What I am asking you to do is not, first of all, first of all, I would, I would hold this to fucking anybody. I don't think that like, okay, with, with the exception of fucking uh, QAnoners, who I call pedophiles because I fucking think they are. Fuck them. But that's a very I mean, small you group that of poisons the world. Yeah, yeah, it's, but it's it's it's. it's the... Yeah, you are doing the exact same thing there, Demon Mama. To be completely fair, make that accusation. No matter what I say, like broadly speaking, I don't think every single Q and like there, there, there was millions, millions, and billions. If the, if every Q and honor is a pedophile, we are fucked. The kids are fucked. Like everyone, like that is that is dangerous as shit. If, if there's if there's like something like twenty percent of Republicans, uh, I think, or even higher than that, uh, believed in QAnon or something. Like yeah, like you know, did she say all QAnoners are pedophiles? Yeah, she j she just said that she says that, and, and I was like, I I'm you're doing the exact same thing that you're accusing Vosh of there. Like you can't, I like, don't broadly say that every single person is a pedophile, unlike myself who tweeted out that scientifically speaking. All Republicans, or all, all pedophiles turn out to be Republicans. Uh, that is slightly different, but that's just science, okay? We can't deny that. Every single pedophile turns out at some point or another, turns out to be a Republican. Typically a prominent Republican politician. That's that's just the science, all right? I, I can't, I can't, I can't dispute math. I'm an empiricist, all right? Uh, that's, that's all there is, you know? That's, it's just science. Every single one. Every single one. Say people are going to accuse me yes. of, of people attacking to, the yes. left, of attacking agree queer with you. people, and I, I think that's I think that's unfair. <laughs> now you're doing it, source. Trust me. <laughs>
that's 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 a sarcasm everybody this is there's obviously that's that that, that yeah that's not that's not real uh, yeah no like i said pedophiles exist within any group or it's it's there's seven billion humans on the planet there's there's going to be pedophiles in every single representational group at some point or another once they grow to a significant size there will be a pedophile amongst them i think it's odd that all libertarians really want to lower the age of consent though and what, what is nick fuentes doing nick fuentes gets really upset when you bring this up have you seen nick fuentes try to defend this he gets weird he gets all worked up you know and he's like i get i get obviously I can't, I can't, you know, can't say that I want to lower the age of consent or I want to have sex with a 16-year-old. I can't. That, is, that will happen. However, it would be significantly less if there was some care. Isn't he 15? No, motherfucker is definitely like in his 20s in that some more care a lot more care and and i'm not saying this is i i really really hate the argument that i'm saying like you need to be lighter on or more careful with what i'm saying is I mean, you need to be no it's not it's not don't even try that's not what i'm trying to say at all and you know that that's not what i'm trying to say come on this is ridiculous the no, idea is. that the idea that wait the idea that that it is a daily occurrence, a literal daily nationwide occurrence. Every single time Fox News boots up and does a segment about trans people, they are going to be fear mongering about pedophilia. Which is I why you're that, saying we should I be more careful think, with it with the queer community. Yes, because it is very easy for those wanton accusations to have very bad results. And you, so but we what should you're be more careful. Me, no, you're making right. So you, we should be more careful. No, no. Okay, hold on. The argument that you gave to me was like, oh, we need to be super on eggshells and it's a bad look to say that we shouldn't that we shouldn't be that we that we need to not actually question people or that we shouldn't question pet predatory behavior. I'm not talking about that. There are predators, of course, and we should fucking expose them. But we should we be more careful. We should be careful not to not to not to catch people who aren't ped pedophiles in the blast, the, which is really easy to do when the normalcy, when the true. normality of the the, the standard status so quo, the are normal rhetoric. There is a degree of care that we should exert specifically with the LGBTQ community that we wouldn't exert with other communities. That we are enacting of course. a preferential. Yes. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess you want we should because they've been historically vilified for being pedophiles. I would, I would like, I would say yes, you do. You absolutely do. By the ball, because here's the thing. No, no, I mean, I guess, hold on. It, sure. Like, I, I guess to a certain degree, it depends on how far you want to go. Like, I don't really, in general, I don't really. I don't know why Demon Mama backed away from that. Like, like Demon Mama definitely should have stood up there and been like, yeah. Like that, that, that's kind of a basis for a lot of your argumentation. At the same time, remember that at one point, even and right now in the state of Pennsylvania, as of yesterday, it is considered obscene and degenerate to even be gay. So keep that in mind when you're talking about these things. And remember that society weaponizes these things all the time. And I'm not saying that Vosh did that. I'm not saying that you guys are doing that. But keep that in mind, okay? Because that is the primary, is one of the primary weapons that is used against gay and trans people all over this fucking country every single day, blasting out of fucking Fox News's ass at all hours. So let's remember. Vosh is saying that queer people need to be more careful, but it's straight people who need to be careful about throwing around these accusations. I don't know if that's the only thing that he's saying. I think he was just trying to characterize or at least quantify uh, Demon Mama's argument. And then I was, I was, I was displeased at the very end to see to see that happening. Uh, the demon mama would back away from that because I, I I I stand by. I think you do need to. It's not a walk on eggshells thing. Fucking a pedophile is a pedophile. Call it a pedophile. But like, it's pretty obvious in a lot of cases. Like, what are the stats on this? I, I showed them earlier on stream when we were doing the debunking panel because this is something that just keeps popping up. But like, it, the LGBTQIA plus community are the ones that overwhelmingly, disproportionately are abused are sexually abused, are sexually molested, are, are sexually uh, attacked, and yes, in, in many times uh, as as youth, um, they are they are the victims in, in all of this. They they're not like overwhelmingly represented amongst like the pedophile community or overwhelmingly re represented. Like there isn't that has never proven itself. That has been a fear mongering, debunked old trope that we have gone past. Ideally, that we have gone past. You know, like time and time again. Hey, 
Do you, do you like movies? Do you, do you like do you like surfs? Do you want do you want do you want movies and surf surfs watching the movies? So then come over to the new channels. It's the surfs the cinema. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can you do the thing? You know that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives. Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you can you delete it? Like just just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just. It's not a great company, but hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just going to be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom, MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you got to do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there. Wearesurfs.com. Thanks, everybody. To our gods, I'm Raft and Xander Corvus. We shall build golden idols in your honor. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, our soft, spongy flesh is yours to command. To our lords, Evan Nudy, Trevor R., Alexander Thaler, Ryan Lubin, bisexual black gamer, Toe Fox, and Jeffrey Lamb, we proudly carry your sigils onto the battlefield. And to our knights of the round table, Riley and Anna, Poodlehawk, Multimondi, Timothy Hart, Trevor Janis, Lemmy 101, Anthropophagic, Saren 42, Chronic to Hemp Hog, Kelly Kotka, The Great Poudini, Bon Jenny, Catherine, Radical Maniac, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, J. Fraser Cartwright, Jimmy Big Nuts, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Nicholas Marks, Jopi, Josh Mickelson, Melissa Murphy, Todd Buckingham, Todd Lajeunesse, and Constance Joyce Lacheris. We tip our cap and lift our mug and salute you.